Hello, I'm Stefan fichtner feigl from the Department of Surgery at the University Medical Center Regensburg in Germany. I would like to report about our work. Bile duct damage after cold storage of deceased donor livers predicts biliary complications after liver transplantation that has recently been published in the Journal of Hepatology. This work was conducted in close collaboration with Dr. Stefan Brunner from our institution. The aim of this study was to examine the development of biliary epithelial damage between organ retrieval and transplantation and its clinical relevance for patients. Based on reports in the literature, we know that after liver transplantation, 6 to 35% of the patients develop biliary complications. However, at this time point, neither the pathophysiologic mechanism at cellular level nor the time point when the primary damage of the common bile duct occurs have been identified so far. To elucidate this problem, we have examined the effects of organ storage and ischemia reperfusion injury on the common bile duct epithelium between organ explantation and reperfusion under the hypothesis that bile duct damage after cold storage is a prognostic factor for biliary complications after liver transplantation. To achieve our goals, we collected common bile duct samples during donor hepatectomy, after cold storage and after reperfusion, and those bile duct samples were compared to healthy controls. A major step necessary to assess the damage of the common bile duct after liver transplantation is to gradually score these defects. Therefore, we first established a bile duct damage score. Using this newly developed bile duct damage score, we evaluated epithelial damage and tight junction architecture of the common bile duct at different time points. Therefore, we found that the architecture of all bile duct specimens obtained at explantation was mainly normal and comparable to healthy controls, a fact that was indeed expected. However, already after cold storage, biliary damage was significantly higher compared to controls or explantation samples and the extent of damage aggravated after reperfusion of the allograft. We next correlated these findings with the clinical outcome of the patients and found that bile duct damage at the time of cold storage, therefore before actual liver transplantation, is a highly sensitive and specific prognostic parameter for biliary complications and graft loss following liver transplantation. Based on the fact that established scoring concepts for donor organ quality like DRI or EDC have been developed to predict graft failure, but they did not predict biliary complications in our study, we are in a need to assess the quality of the biliary tree separately. Since an intraoperative histological examination of frozen bile duct section is feasible within 20 minutes, our new bile duct damage score can immediately influence the decision making during the operation. In our opinion, the best time point for bile duct evaluation is during cold preparation, not only because of better specificity, but also because at this time point it is still possible to intervene surgically without delay. Besides exploring potential surgical techniques, a better way to achieve a reduction of biliary complications and consequently improve graft survival is prevention of biliary epithelial damage during cold storage. Our study is in accordance with another recent clinical study on donor bile duct histology published by Hans et al. Now, these two studies not only provide evidence that histological assessment of the donor bile duct might help predict the occurrence of biliary complications after transplantation, they also offer additional perspective from which to view the pathogenesis of these complications. At this time point, we come to the realization that the current methods of organ preservation are far from sufficient. It is possible that current organ preservation fluids used to flush the bile ducts during procurement are suboptimal to preserve the biliary epithelium. Alternatively, it might be that the current preservation method based on cooling is not the best way to protect the biliary epithelium. With this regard, Optin Dries and colleagues from the University Medical Center Groningen showed that ex vivo normothermic machine perfusion is a feasible procedure for the use in human livers that should be explored in future studies. Unfortunately, up to now, the mechanisms of biliary epithelium regeneration in the larger and extrahepatic bile ducts are not very well known. If the mechanisms of successful re-epithelialization of the extrahepatic bile duct are better understood, 
a therapeutic strategy to stimulate regeneration in all livers could potentially be developed. Currently, we are trying to elucidate the molecular events of biliary epithelial damage and failure of biliary epithelial regeneration during cold storage and ischemia reperfusion injury. We hope that our results will help to understand these molecular events and are a start to improve the methods of organ preservation, especially for the biliary epithelium.